There's really four main ingredients. You got your malt, your hops, your yeast, and the most important ingredient is water. It's probably the most overlooked and the one people don't ever think about, but you get a, you need a great source, and we have a great source, Lake Sebago. By the way, it's Sebago, not Sebago. A lot of people call it Sebago, but it's Sebago. And you can drink from the faucet here, so that's nice. I lived in a lot of places where you can't do that. Speak a little bit to the water supply here in Maine that's really unique and special. And well, it so interesting nice. story. We actually make one beer under exclusive license from the Ringwood Brewery in Hampshire, England. It's our old thumper. Um, that beer was uh, first crafted over there at the Ringwood Brewery by uh, a gentleman called Peter Austin, the founder of that brewery. Just so happens that Alan Pugsley, our master brewer, apprenticed under Mr. Austin at the Ringwood Brewery in England. So uh, when the licensing agreement came up, they had a concern over in England that our water was good enough to make their beer out of. So we actually had to send a sample of our water, which is from Sebago Lake, and that was sent to the Bass Laboratories for testing. And they concluded that this was one of the finest brewing waters they had ever tested worldwide. So we know we have excellent water here. And we're just fortunate, Maine's blessed with natural water, and water's the main ingredient for beer. And this is maybe one of the reasons why craft beer in general in Maine stands out. Could be to the quality of that water we start with. The mineral content in Lake Sebago actually very closely matches the mineral content um, which Belgian brewers would expect from their water. So we really don't have to do anything to the water at all. It's perfectly suited to brew Belgian style beers. So we're very lucky to have a pristine water source like Lake Sebago. Gary's take three. Oh, what gets tricky in brewing is what you have to take out, like iron. Uh, that's a no-no. There, there, there are various things. You, adjusting pH. One of the things that we're blessed with in Portland, Maine, having a brewery, is Sebago Lake water. That is a treasure, a jewel. It is a beautiful lake to begin with. It's over 300 feet deep. It sits on a huge, dense sand filter. It's like a swimming pool filter. It's all glacial sand and it circulates constantly. It is devoid of hardness, devoid of metals, devoid of any kind of color, aroma. It is what the Scots would call whiskey water. It's beautiful. In the summertime, the warmest it ever gets is 58 degrees. So we can use it in our heat exchangers to cool things, which saves us a lot of money. If you live in Portland, Maine, and you're buying bottled water, you're a fool. Well, they're right, they're right. The water is important here in Maine. Beer is 95% water, so that, that makes a huge difference. It's about as pure brewing water as you're likely to get in this day and age. The water we use to brew our beer comes from Lake Auburn in Auburn, Maine. It is one of the 10 cleanest lakes in, I believe in the Northeast at least. Our, our water was actually so soft that uh, when we first installed our, our canning line, company that, that did the install, that made the canning line, likes to do a, a water test first with the line to make sure it's working before we have to put beer through it. But our water was so soft that when they tried to do a water test, uh, it actually wouldn't trigger the sensors on the canning line. So we weren't able to do a water test. We had to, we had to test with beer for the first time. Uh, and he said it was only the second time they had ever seen that happen. Maine in general has killer water. Um, you know, these breweries in Portland, they may be in a industrial park, but they're getting water from Sebago Lake. That's, that's great water. And it's good for all those breweries. We're particularly proud of our water because it comes from an underground aquifer beneath our brewery. It's completely proprietary, extra delicious, and uh, a, a huge source of pride for us and one of the biggest reasons why our beer tastes the way it does. To Maine. To Maine. To Maine. I'll be here the rest of my life. Oh, yeah.